Hello and welcome to another edition of Only in Illinois, the weekly video recap from Reboot Illinois. I'm Madeline Dubeck. And I'm Matt Dietrich. And we are coming to you from Springfield, Illinois, where Matt just got done moderating a terrific debate between uh, a couple of experts on, around the whole tax question in Illinois. We had Ralph Martiri from the Center for Budget and Tax Accountability making the case for a progressive tax system in Illinois with multiple rates applying to different incomes and Ted Dabrowski from the Libertarian Illinois Policy Institute making the argument for keeping a flat tax. Uh, interestingly, they both think that we need to do a better job with education and, uh, and find ways to, in a sense, put more money into that, but they both have very different approaches about how we do that. Well, I think what we saw today in our panel discussion was a kind of an encapsulation of what we're going to hear from the gubernatorial candidates um, over the next uh, 18 months or so um, regarding the future of the Illinois income tax. People who uh, favor a progressive income tax system, um, who want to change the Illinois Constitution to allow that, believe that it's a more fair way of applying an income tax because it taxes people according to their ability to pay. If you make a higher income, your tax rate is higher. If you have a lower income, your income tax rate is going to be low. They also believe that it is a way to bring in a lot more money for, for Illinois. And right now, uh, Illinois, we're struggling. We have $7 billion in back bills. Um, we have struggled and struggled even with a 5% flat rate increase that uh, went into effect in 2011. Now, on the other side, which is what the Illinois Policy Institute um, advocates for, mm -hmm. the other side wants to see that 5% increase mostly sunset. On January 1st, 2015, it's scheduled to go back down to 3.75%. And uh, low tax advocates want that to happen. The problem is, if that happens, Illinois loses about in the neighborhood of seven billion dollars, and that's and a pretty. How do you make that up? That's a pretty hefty chunk. Fund services, and so that's going to be a big uh, discussion in the months ahead. And so we kind of got the discussion going in a big way at this event, and we'll have uh, lots more coverage of it on RebootIllinois.com and some video clips as well. But we're also here in Springfield while the state fair is underway, and uh, the political candidates have been really joining the campaign in earnest and starting to make their arguments. We had Governor Pat Quinn and Bill Daley uh, talking to the Democratic County Chairman's Association yesterday. We have Republican go governor candidates at the state fair today uh, starting out trying to solidify their support within their own parties. And, uh, and any other highlights that you saw yesterday at the Democratic meeting? Well, I think yesterday what we saw at the Democratic meeting was really kind of what the tenor of the uh, uh, Bill Daley, Pat Quinn primary race is going to be. And it's going to be a very uh, rough and fascinating campaign. Bill Daley was adamant that uh, he does not think Pat Quinn can be reelected. And that if he's nominated, the Democrats will lose the governorship. However, Pat Quinn got a hero's welcome at the uh, Democratic leadership meeting and a standing ovation as he went off. So they were pretty well solidified behind him. And I think what we're going to hear today at the Illinois State Fairgrounds from the four Republican gubernatorial uh, 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 candidates, candidates. Uh, will be a lot of talk about what they see in the state's tax future. Because whoever gets elected in 2014 is going to have to deal with something that happens on January 1st, 2015. Whether you want a progressive tax system, as Bill Daley wants, mm -hmm. whether you want it to sunset and lose $7 billion that you have to make up for, as Bruce Rauner on the Republican side wants. Something's going to change. It's going to be a great election. This is the hot topic of, of now and of 2014, and so we all need to learn a lot more about it and figure out where we stand. That's it for this week's edition. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.